everybody, this is Bodishan here. So today we're going to be talking about the electromagnetic spectrum. So first off, the electromagnetic spectrum is just a wave. In fact, it's a transverse wave. And there's all different parts to it because every piece of it is going to have a different wavelength and that's going to represent a different part of this wave. That's something completely different. And so we're going to go into detail and talk about each little part of the wave so you can understand it fully, okay? We're going to start off with radio waves. And here's our electromagnetic spectrum up here. Um, radio waves are on the end. Now, I don't want you to think of the electromagnetic spectrum only going in one direction with radio starting on this side and gamma stopping on this side. Understand that it can be flip-flopped around. This is just based on the wavelength and the frequency of the waves to identify which one goes where, okay? So radio waves, as you can see, they have a very long wavelength. In fact, the longest of all of the electromagnetic spectrum, uh, which means that they have the lowest energy going on. They're gonna have the lowest frequency, which is just waves per second, right? So the lowest amount occurring. And then they're gonna have the lowest danger off of anything. Um, and that's because we have radio waves all around us all the time, you guys. Um, we do use it for radio transmission. So if you turn on the radio, those waves are getting to your radio through um, the electromagnetic spectrum uh, radio waves, right? Uh, television broadcasting is how we um, use radio waves to see what's on our television. And if you um, have ever been in an airplane, that's how your pilot is gonna talk to the people um, corresponding your route so you don't run into each other when you're up in the air, okay? Um, next up is microwave. So now we are right here on the electromagnetic spectrum, you can see as we move down in this direction for this particular example, we are gonna get shorter and shorter wavelength as we go, right? So this is still considered to be a long wavelength. Um, this is still low energy, still low frequency, and microwaves are pretty low danger as well. Microwaves are literally the microwaves that are in your microwave oven, okay? That is what cooks and heats up your food in a microwave oven, pretty cool, right? Um, we do use microwaves to talk on our cell phones. So if you answer your cell phone and you're talking to somebody, microwaves are what's transmitting your voice back and forth to one another. And then um, policemen use microwaves um, to like shoot at your car with radar, right? To see your speed, to catch you for a speeding ticket or to make sure that you're going the appropriate speed on the, on the roads, okay? All right, next up is infrared waves. And infrared waves, you can see we're moving slightly on down that electromagnetic spectrum. Um, these are still long wavelengths, okay, but we are a little bit shorter than microwave. Can you guys see that? So we're getting a little bit shorter, although it's still considered pretty long. Um, so it's going to be low energy, low frequency still, and it's still pretty low danger. Nothing too harmful yet, okay? Now, infrared waves... Some really cool examples are gonna be like thermal imaging. This is an example of thermal energy. It's where you can have a, a special camera and it picks up heat sensors. So certain areas are gonna look different shades depending on how hot it is. It's pretty cool because when we're talking infrared, we're really talking heat here. Um, we have infrared lights. And infrared lights, like in restaurants, can heat up your food or keep it warm until your servers come around. Um, there's lots of different infrared cooking for like grilling and things like that. And then our remote controls actually talk to or communicate with our televisions through infrared waves. So that's pretty awesome. And you can see that in your house. Now, next up is visible light. And visible light is smack in the middle, okay, of the electromagnetic spectrum. So we're finally made it like halfway across, right? And this is our rainbow. This is all that humans can see. So if you look around and you can see it, that's visible light, okay? Because literally it's colors, all right? Um, now the colors are in order of the rainbow, so I wrote them here for you guys. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet, otherwise known as Roy G. Biv. Um, if that helps you remember it, the Roy and then the G and then the Biv at the end. Now these are all gonna be pretty moderate because this is in the middle, right? Moderate wavelength, moderate energy, moderate frequency, low danger, right? Our colors that we see, they're not hurting us at all. So there's no danger here in that. All right, next up, we're going slightly further into ultraviolet. And ultraviolet is really where we cross the line, right? We cross the midpoint 
So now we're getting into a little bit shorter wavelengths, higher energy, higher frequency, and we're finally at a moderate danger zone. And that's only because ultraviolet light comes from our sun, right? And it shines down on us. It gives us the vitamin D that's good for our skin um, and body. But it also, if we absorb too much, can give us a sunburn. And eventually that can lead to things like skin cancer and things like that. So it is moderately dangerous, um, but not too bad, right? All right, moving on to x-rays. X-ray is our next one, and we're almost at the end here. So you can see that our wavelengths are even shorter, right? So we have a very short wavelength, which means we have very high energy happening, high frequency, so a lot of waves per second now. Um, and this is gonna be pretty high danger. Um, now, I don't want you to freak out when you hear that, right? Because we do use x-rays in doctor's offices to check our bones to see if they're broken and other various things like that. Um, but we do track how much radiation we absorb from those x-rays because they are harmful to us if we absorb too much. So we do monitor that, okay? And then last up is gonna be our gamma rays. And gamma rays are the very last one in our electromagnetic spectrum because they have the shortest wavelength, the highest energy out of all of them, highest frequency, so highest number of waves per second. And they are the most dangerous ones that you will find on the electromagnetic spectrum. These are the ones that we use for cancer treatment on Earth. A, a lot of times, if you have cancer, they may use something called a gamma knife on you, which is just gamma rays shooting at that cancer to kill it. Um, we do use gamma radiation for other really cool things like mapping our universe, okay? So we will send out gamma rays and it will actually um, let us see stars and nebulas and really cool things out there. Um, that we can't see otherwise. So NASA uses gamma rays a lot in that. You guys, I hope this was helpful for you understanding the electromagnetic spectrum. Thanks everybody. Hey you guys, did you know about 60% of my viewers have not subscribed yet? Could you go ahead and take one second and please subscribe to my channel and support me? Thank you all so much for watching. Bye everybody.